Let it go. All the boots are like whoa. Thing I go. Oh shit, over. I see. I see. I see. I got a better now, girl. Yeah, go you go. Morning. We're doing back to back seven day fit. So right now I'm gonna go wash one of the sheets that we use for the table. Honestly, once Melissa wakes up, we have to close out yesterday's vlog. It's gonna be my day off today and then tomorrow Melissa's day off. But it's not really a day off. I'm gonna go to Jersey, pick up the wax, and then come back home and prep the candles and clean the house and a lot of other stuff. Tomorrow Melissa's gonna make the candles and she won't be at the fair. I feel like this might be crazy, but I'm 28, right? And I don't really know how to wash clothes. So you put the whites with the hot, so you put the color with the cold. I know that part, right? I get, I get that. But like, I don't understand like which detergent to use. My friend told me that if you use the right washing machine, your clothes shouldn't come out wet after you wash them. So like when you wash them, it should still be like, it should be dry, right? Then I'm over here, they got three options. They got high temp, they got press temp, right? And they got low temp. I didn't even know what press temp was. I could like look it up. I'm like, should I use that? I don't even know. And then how do you not dry? How do you not shrink your clothes? I have no like 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 I know how I know how to wash clothes technically, but I don't really know how to wash clothes. Like when did y'all learn how to wash clothes? What if the way your parents taught you to wash clothes is not the actual way to wash clothes? Bro, and forget about bleach. I don't even touch that. Nope. It's always like, well, what's technically a white? What if it has like white and blue streaks? Is that a white? Is that a light? Then like, they'll put them together. And then like, how dark should I put what clothes and what colors together? All right, so we have washed the tablecloth, so I'm heading to the laundry room. Oh, Don even washed it. So I'm heading to the laundry room to get it. And then I think I'm gonna take the regular train instead of the railroad, because of that damn gap. I miss the train again. So I just found out that I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Thank God that I caught this train because it's above ground. If I took the E train, there was no way for me to attend that meeting. I'm slightly annoyed because I just called for the meeting and he said that it's 10 a.m. Central, but I checked the email and it's an Eastern time. But it still works out for me because I need to push it back to 11 anyways. So I caught the 948 railroad train and now I'm here at 10.18. If I caught the, the uh, E-train for that same time, I wouldn't be here for another 20 to 30 minutes. All right, I'm heading out. I'm going to pick up this wax from New Jersey. I think I have to take three railroads to get there. I feel like they're all called railroads. That you ride. I don't know, but I gotta take three of them to get there. So have a nice little time to relax, order what we need for the week, do some bookkeeping, get the finances in order, administrative work. So my train is running late because of that. I missed it. Same way as a Grand Bazaar, you just sitting there. You just, you just there so that we don't get in trouble. Go for three sales an hour. That's how I keep myself in the gym, in the, in the Oh, shit. I just realized something. Oh, my God. Okay. We might hit the 70% for the loan this week, and that could be the money that we use to cover everything. But even if they give us 2300 we have enough to pay for one fare already. I will book every single week if they let us. If they let us, I will book every week. And I think it's funny, right? Because I was thinking about Sarah Gross, and I'm like, she's keeping her foot on her neck. And that's why she's going to keep growing. And then I was thinking about, oh, 
us, but we had that opportunity. We didn't capitalize on it. Yeah. Oh shit, it's my stop. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Sheesh. sure what to do first these are the things that i have to do but i'm not sure what order to do them and this is where i'm getting like analysis paralysis so as you can see the house is a mess like the house there's stuff here this is just there's stuff all along this here uh there's stuff over here on the floor i put the laundry away somewhat this morning so that's kind of that's kind of done right but i'm like okay Candles gotta be prepped for tomorrow, so Melissa can make them. She gets off at seven. I go to sleep by 10. Order stuff, prep candles. No, order stuff, clean, prep candles, shower. No, order stuff, clean, shower, prep candles. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one, I'm gonna do that one. So I walked all the way over here and I still got here before 8 p.m. Damn, it's mad dark. So I got some cleaning done. Um, I did not take a shower. I uh, did not prep candles. I uh, did not. Uh, I got the order of the stuff, so that's good. I got the order and clean. That's mostly what I was able to do today. So, oh man. I'm like not late, but I could possibly miss my train. If anything suspicious happens on the way over there. So right now it's 10.05 maybe. I got three minutes to get there. I can get there in like 90 seconds. Probably less if I'm like really running. But I'm not trying to do that. It's 10.06. Light turn green. That's a little jog across the street. I hope I time my pace. Oh. I'm very curious if it's gonna be slow because Tuesdays, both times we did it were slow. But I don't know, I have this odd feeling it's not gonna be slow. If it is, I can get some work done, but you know, and we also don't have a lot of candles. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, so I knew I forgot something. I forgot the change. Not really sure what I'm gonna do about it because the account that Square is connected to is negative, so I can't send money to it. So it's gonna lose it all. The other account has zero dollars in it. Oh, we might've got paid by. YouTube, let me check. Nope, they get paid by YouTube. So, I'm hoping I can ask a vendor for some change when we're there. Bro, it's so dead in here. It's one o'clock, I have one sale of a small camera, which I got, by the way, by not selling. I was sitting down working on the bags. It's very rough, I'm trying to figure out what I could do to get more sales or should I be working on something else because I got the sale while I was working on the bag so I do have a lot of administrative work to do I know I haven't vlogged today um, today is my day off from going to the fair so I'm using so I'm, I'm doing everything today 
so I just took the sheets off the bed um, Donovan did laundry already like just he washed our clothes so I'm about to wash the sheets um, like our towels and stuff like that or washed off and well you yeah, whatever I'm about to wash all that stuff and then I had the idea this is how I get fucked up I'm about to clean the bathroom I should just give the cats a bath before I clean it because they dirty still have to do candle stuff but it shouldn't take me that long it doesn't take the whole day so that's why I'm, like, I'm gonna clean i'm gonna sweep the house up and stuff like that so mess so that's the laundry uh, that's also laundry gotta clear the table off gotta clear over there off the floor is a fucking mess uh just about to change the sheets this area is a fucking mess everything's a mess this is a mess cat stuff in the kitchen is it's just all a mess and i'm not vlogging this in depth because it's not really candle stuff but just know that like I'm doing other things that's not candle related and that's why there's no Melissa in the vlog. So my daughter is done. Hi Sush. Hey mama. <laughs> they don't like taking baths, but we've been bathing them from they were young, so it's not that bad. Cause this is her her wet, cold little self. <laughs> She's upset. Sushi. 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 The only reason why he's calm because he don't know he next. Yeah, I almost died in that damn tub with fucking rock. He's clean now, but he was carrying on. And he's bigger now, so like he really doesn't so she doesn't mind it as much. But rock, oh my god. Look how calm and sweet he look. The man act like he was dying and like he about to kill me. Oh my god. But he didn't hurt me though. First time I gave him a bath, he definitely had a nail in my jugular, so I made sure I trimmed their nails before I give them a bath. He's a lot more calm now. You okay, Bubby? Now I'm still stuck on this. Donovan would've came home and he would have no son and we he would have no girlfriend because Brock was about to take us both out in that fucking tub. I tell you what, my, my body just knows. Like, oh, you about to, you about to, you have a day off? A day of rest? Really? Period. What's the So we we might be doing Chelsea every single week from now on. Like we we, we might be able to do it. We pull some string, talk to some people. It's possible. So now, what Melissa and I are talking about today is doing interviews with the people at the fair. So they would be here, and that would be the interview. Like, hey, sell some candles. Let me see how good you are. And we go from there. Um, I would say today was an average day. It wasn't too... <laughs> average is not the word. It was definitely below average. But it was better than our first Tuesday at Chelsea. So that's... I guess you could say that's the good, right? I feel like I probably could have did a little bit more. I did like 300 or something. I honestly thought I wasn't even gonna do that. I thought I was gonna have the whole day do $15. <laughs> that's how bad it was. Care for me all day. That's because I'm just starting candle stuff now. So as you can see, the bed is clean. This area is clean. The bathroom is clean. Um, I just have like a couple things on the table that I'm like using. I swept. So the floor looks more clean, like things look cleaner, which is like great for the mental. I'm about to start doing candle stuff right now. It should be like eight. So Donovan should be home in maybe like 20 minutes. And I think this, uh, I think us not working together, being together all day, you know, helps, helps a lot. I feel like yesterday when she came home, I was like, oh, my baby girl is home. You know, kind of talked, you know, did a little bit of, you know, cuddling in the bed, all of that. I think it's good for us. We need, we need this. We definitely need some more of these. This might be a regular thing where we just kind of take off one day and she'll work one, I'll work the other.
I'm getting a vibe that I'm asking mad aggressive. Like it felt aggressive from me. I can sit there like, oh shit, nah, I'm okay. Like, I, like they were getting scared. I'm like, shit, what is, what is it? Uh, so that was happening for almost everybody. When people did come to the table after I was touched it, I decided to sit down. Like, all right, I'm gonna try to sit down, see how that goes. It worked a little bit. To come to the table, could not get nobody, could not get a close thing right by the candle. I couldn't even do a rapport, I couldn't get to anything. It was just like, oh, they would smell it. I'm like, okay, how do I open from here? And then that was the end of that. And they would just walk off. I think my first sale came, came close to two o'clock. And I'm like, whew. Yeah, I saw that. Right, right. And I'm like, wow. I wish I was taking a break. That I have an excuse to only sell one candle for three hours. <laughs> Cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood body giving sin views. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know, and But you ain't even flexing. So Donovan left already. Um, I'm staying behind to make some samples that I'm gonna head towards Chelsea. So I'm gonna do 50 each. So I, I missed my train this morning, so I tried something else to get here. I'm taking the Grand Central train, and then I'm taking that to the shuttle to take the E. Hopefully I get there in time. Oh, I got like 50 minutes to get there right now. So I feel like I can get there in time, but it's like, I have to do a little job when I get there. Obviously, after time I'm supposed to get there, I'm so mad because I felt like I woke up early enough to get there, but I didn't feel like I had nothing to do this morning. And then I realized I had stuff to do because the plan was supposed to be the podcast. But then I realized we weren't doing them. I hope that I had mad time. As you know, it's 9:20, and I'm like, damn, I need candles. I need other stuff. And I'm like, fuck. Well, I made it at exactly 11 o'clock as the manager was coming around to check the booths. My booth was already open. It was ready, the plastic was down, but then you look at the sign and you see Boots is not set up. I said, oh, but we here at 11. Actually, it's like two or three Boots that's not set up, honestly. And she was walking around taking the plastic off of everybody's booth. So people had mad cloth on, she had to remove all the So stuff. I'm actually, I'm really excited to get to the market because there's a snack that I tried at the end of the day and it was really fucking good. I'm probably gonna buy like five of them. <laughs> Because I'm not going to do Starbucks today. I guess I got my, my period. Oh, so the market is very lively today. A lot more people than normal. So like my lens is not clearing today. I guess it's also dark down here, but I got my snack. It's this, these are my new favorite snacks. If you ever had like the haagen bar, it's like that, but without the, the ice cream. And if I could buy like a whole pallet of this shit, I would buy it. It's go time. They said we could pay the thing later in the week. It's go time, it's go time. We about to do Chelsea three weeks in a row because it's go time. First 20K month coming to you and Q1. We just had the car repossessed. Not just, but you know, two months ago, the house was getting foreclosed on. We was broker than broke. We still kind of have negative accounts. But 20K month three. What's up? It's go time. Wow. It's go time. Wow. It's go time. First, this guy here? first 20k month. Oh my god. First 20k month. I mean, you know, we still have a little reserve. Yeah, that's another two Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Good, good. I did. We are now booked for three. 
not two or one, but three bookings back to back. We did three. Wow. This would be our third Chelsea in a row. How do you go from doing none all last year to doing one struggling in a row? But my be home this year. Three. We got three of them. We don't, you don't say it's slow. We don't make no money. But shout out to my mom. So I'm going to pay her back next week. But listen, you got to get you friends and family that support and invest in you. That's, that's, that's the real secret right there. So I'm leaving early, but I'm kind of excited because there's a lot that I could do at home in terms of making candles, um, melting candles, some stuff came in the mail. I just really want to be like in a comfortable space and not have to worry about messing up my clothes. Um, I could work on the vlog. Like there's a lot that I could do um, at home. New printer, y'all. Gonna clear off this part of the board. So my goal for today is to get as much as done possible as I physically can. So with as much stuff, the, like, so yeah, much as done possible. So first I'm gonna start off by melting tops. Cause I made 150 candles pretty much yesterday. So I wanna melt those, get those out the way, clear off the table, right? Then I'm gonna make samples. Cause I wanna use that table while it's clear, you feel me? And once I make a good amount of samples, I think I'm gonna make an entire box. I think each box is like 250. So I think I'm gonna make an entire box of sample per scent. And then after that, it's gonna be making even more candles. So I think some big glasses just came in. I just noticed that there's kind of like a stain on the box. Um, we're officially doing a third week of Chelsea. I don't know how that fucking happened, but we're officially doing a third week. We just got an email that they're gonna move us to a different spot, so we'll see how that goes. I also want to at least um, transfer the vlog, cause Donovan was supposed to edit it this week, um, but I made an agreement that I'll edit it. And then I also need to set up for the podcast because we are gonna film it tomorrow morning, which is Thursday. That's why I ended up doing a vlog so that he could actually edit the the um, the podcast once we film it, because we're filming it very late. This is what I'm doing. These are the candles that still need to be melted. I have to trim the wicks over here. These wicks are already trimmed and they're just waiting to go into the fire. We got our fire going over here. So they haven't really started to melt yet. I just turned the lights on, but give it like a couple minutes and then we'll have a flow going. I just finished two batches of these. So like two candle scents are done. So here's what we're looking like. These are done. These are done. I just have to do these over here. So right now what I'm doing is pulling um, some empty tins so that I could put these on these and then label these and then just put them away they're officially done all that needs to be left is taking off the marker stickers um so that we could tell them apart i'm gonna work on doing the the lids for these these and these and then the table should be completely clear okay so the day is almost over Alyssa went home early to work on some candle stuff you could do in the house uh we got a lot of packages came in we got a new printer we're trying out the new size vessel y'all gonna see that early uh she made some of the new scents that we had it's a small candle so i'm excited for that well, well actually i already smelled them but i love one of them my favorite one b b go crazy b go crazy it's been pretty much dead all day like funny enough we made the same amount of money we did our first week actually made more this week than we did our first week so i'm hoping the rest of the days are busier than that first week but we still did pretty well i think we did like a little over three grand the first week we did it here so hopefully it's similar to that but it's slow i'm exhausted i'm actually try and load up the next vlog. So Melissa's gonna do this one. I'll be doing week 10. It's funny, I didn't hear the doorbell rocking. So my first time actually holding and feeling the new vessel and I like it a lot. 
I feel like it's like it's cute and sophisticated. Like it's like it's like, oh, this is nice. Like you can carry it around. I feel like, yeah, I like just holding it. You get your whole hand around it too. This is big. Like this is a big, this is a big handle. I like this one a lot. Yeah, look at that. This is the the signature size. This is the gift size. And you can have the travel and mini size over here. So Melissa just said that TV broke yesterday. You know what this reminds me of? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The game. Right. <laughs> Bro, I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> about to buy a yacht. Bro, it's like, oh my God. And I, I, a TV, you definitely wanted things on there. Like, oh, you got, you, you bought a new TV, right? Right, you gotta buy a new TV. If you don't know what we're talking about, go online and Google Rich Dad Poor Dad game. It's a great game, we love it. And as you see, we always recommend that game. It's fun. Good financial game. Um, so I'm gonna be editing the vlog this week. It was supposed to be Donovan, so I'm taking that over. So yesterday, I melted all the candles. So we have mad candles for this weekend. Um, I'm gonna be making candles today, and probably making samples, and then maybe prepping can, making candle samples, and probably editing the vlog. It's three hours, so that I hopefully I can get that up for y'all within a day or two. So I see really early. You know what's funny? The green pluses. It reminds me of Italy and it reminds me of GTA. I was gonna say is that so I applied to when I was at Grand Bazaar there was a lady that I spoke to and she told me to apply to Made in uh, Made in New York right so I'm okay so I found this program called Made in NYC and I signed up for it shout out to her I might even hit her up and say thank you so they have like opportunities for people that's members and it's free to be a member so they have different opportunities um, so they have retail opportunities and then these are the people that they partner with to like to do con consignments and stuff um, they have pop-up events so this is like this is a pop-up that I was thinking about doing this is one that I was thinking about doing and this is one that we currently do um, this one I feel like it's more for food so I don't know about that one so this is one that I decided to uh, um, to check out it says multiple locations right so I'm on and boom, it's like a pop-up that you could do at different stores. So they got Levi and Hudson Yards. This is Faraday. We've actually popped up here before. They got Muji, Origins. I'm, I've never heard of this store before. So this is really cool. I just called Donovan and I just told him to stay home because it's raining, it's not really busy in here. So I don't think it makes much sense for him to come. And I just feel like there's like a lot that we could kind of get done if one of us is here and one of us stays home, especially if it's like there's not enough demand for us to be in here. Um, only thing that sucks is that the TV isn't working. So I ordered a cord and it should get here Saturday. Hopefully that fixes it. So Melissa told me that it's really slow at the fair so i'm gonna stay home and bruh we just cleaned the other day like you saw it just clean and this is the house again i'm gonna clean i'm gonna edit i'm gonna prep candles and then get some oh and i'm excited because oh today's the death today is the best day for me to stay home because the new adapter comes in see now why are you playing with the tape the new adapter for this comes in. It's right here. So that we could put bigger sizes on it. So I'm excited for that. I get to use it and label mad candles mad fast. So I got my snacks. And I am now mentally prepared to sit in the same spot for the rest I'm of the day. To go and get these packages. Yes. It's here. It's here. I'm about to label so many candles today. So yeah, I may or may not remember, but a few weeks ago we bought another labeler for the 
small candles. It's technically called a label applicator. So the problem is it only allows you to use labels that are on a one inch roll. The ones that we have on a three inch roll. So we had to get this adapter to be able to use it to label all the candles. I'm hoping this works. This is the Tawa AP35. This is the old looking thingamabob. So now you're supposed to open this way. All right. So as you can see, this doesn't fit. Doesn't do nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. So I think this goes on. Uh, should I read the instructions? Nah. Who reads instructions? Does this come off? I feel like this should come off. Yeah, but this should definitely come off. Let's see. See, it's coming off. Like it's coming off, but like, am I gonna break it if I read the instructions? Oh, got it. Got it, all right. Still doesn't fit on there, okay. What? Wait, this shit better work, bro. All right, let's read the instructions. Are you fucking serious? Oh my God, they didn't send me the other fucking stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God, are you kidding me? So I gotta remove the screw. Hopefully that's make this thing work. Oh, okay, that's how it's supposed to be. All right, so I got that. Put the screw back. Oh, so I don't need the other ones. Okay, they said this is good. That's all I need, that's it? Home of the truth. It works. It fucking works. Oh, it works. Oh my God, it works. Bro, I thought you were smoking weed. <laughs> Bro, you saw the, oh, you saw the email? No. You ain't see it. Oh God, I'm scared. I can't even see you. I'm scared. Why the hell can I pull up the email? Sissy, why are you bothering me? Who's that? Bruh. You heard your mom's voice that you hear? Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Look at you, sushi. <laughs> why are you being shy? Man, that's how men do the apple. Really? Mm -hmm. They're funny. <laughs> Maybe they're mad cosmetics? No, we'll say that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Bruh, that's our biggest sale, I feel like, on the website. They're not even gonna bet an eye. <laughs> that's a $30 sale. Bruh, they, let me get four. They're gonna, buy, they're gonna buy three or four of those every single time. Because they could... That would be such a perfect gift set, too. Oh, that okay. That would literally be the perfect gift set. Like, the gift size candles. So, I had another thought. What do you think about... The gift size going in the bag and then the signature size going in a box. Like a real nice box. I think it's the other way. I think the bag is more than You think so? So, okay. For the box that I was thinking about is it would be a box that you have to like... It would have like one of them tags on it where you got to pull a tag out and the box slides out of it. And you have to take your candle out of that. The bag is fire. But... A custom, a customizable box is even more fire, and like, and you could put more That's stuff true. in it. You could put like the tissue paper, like the shredded tissue paper inside. You could have like the colorful one inside. You could have a, on the the box itself could be luxurious. You could have different things on the side of the box. I'm on the phone with Melissa. Let's see what this printer is is doing. For what? Oh, I didn't get it yet. I didn't get the printer yet. Let's go bring it over here. Got it. 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 Got it.
This video is not sponsored, even though it should be. Quill, they're watching. We accept all free items. We accept all free items. I did this step already, right? Now I gotta did these. I did these two. I don't know what this means. This is a, a laser printer, so it takes toner and not ink. So I'm unfamiliar with uh, with this. job vlogging today. I have like a lot of free time. Um, it's pretty slow in here. So uh, what I did was I applied to some grants. I um, emailed back people I was supposed to email. I did the giveaway as you guys saw. Shout out to Katie. She's been supporting us for a long time. I feel like she's one of our first um, Instagram followers. So shout out to Katie. She won the giveaway this week. And I've started editing this week's vlog um, because I took it over from Donovan. So it's two hours long, which is pretty good to, to like two and a half hours long. That's a great starting point. There's videos that's been seven hours long. So I'm really happy for that. And I'm already like 11 minutes in. So hopefully this doesn't take too long to edit. So I feel like my astigmatism is really astigmatism. Stigmatisming. <laughs> Lights look blurry. Um, I think it's a lack of nutrients because we haven't been eating the best. I also think that it could be a lack of sleep because I'll go to bed late. I've been up six, since 6 a.m. this morning because we were doing the podcast. And it's almost normal to eat bad food and not sleep. How you get to work? Connected to Google Drive. My whole Google Drive is here. So I'd have to, I can only print it from using that. Right now, yeah. Melissa is making the last candle, some big candles for the craft fair. Uh, got about 20 big candles to make. So, you know, yeah. Give me two seconds. Facts, facts. All the candles. All the candles are finished. Easy. What is that like? 20 minutes? I don't think I watched that many videos. <clears throat> it's about 7.20 right now. I'm gonna go get the packages from downstairs. Well, it's only one. It is the camera, which I'm very excited about because we can now catch all the great reactions to people winning the game. So we can use that for our content on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever else we post content at. And we got a mock-up of the new shopping bag. So I'm excited for Melissa to see that when she wakes up. So I can't wait for that. So I, I'm like real pumped this morning. I have a lot of things I kind of want to get done. I want to melt tops. I want to do the bookkeeping for the personal bank account. Because I don't know how much money we're spending on food in relation to how much we normally spend because we decided not to go grocery shop in the last two weeks and just eat out. And I'm curious how much we're saving or not saving doing that. So I want the packages on the floor, thank God, because I don't have a code. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Side quest accomplished. Bro, y'all know we never got the printer to work because we use a company called Natural Wireless for our internet. If you ever been in like a building or like it's a hotel, they usually have like some off brand type internet thing. And with us, it has something called an access key. So that means that you, there's no router. So a lot of devices need a password to sign in, but we don't have a password. So we have, we have an access key, which is number one. So because of that, we have to either get a router. Uh, yeah, we need a router for it to work. There are some workarounds, which Melissa figured out yesterday, where the printer actually allows you to email it, like staples, that you can print something, or you can print it from Google Drive. So that's fine. My beautiful girlfriend is awake. 
or well she's not away but she's her eyes are open so that's good enough for me give me your phone give me your phone give me your phone Please be black, please be black, please be black. It doesn't look black. It's white. It's supposed to be black. Oh my god. I guess it's not that bad. It blends with the clouds. I guess. Same problem that we had yesterday. It seems like we need to get a router for the camera to work in the house. So the PS4 doesn't be working. The printer is not working. And now the camera is not working. Shout out to all the fake internet wireless providers. Is that what IP stands for? Internet provider? That's crazy. It's 10 o'clock. Train is at 10.07. I'm good. That's good. I have enough time to walk there, get to the train. Don't have to run. I'm bringing mad extra stuff. Bringing extra candles big in my bag. I got 48 small. Um, we got to get prepared for this weekend because we're double booked each day. So Melissa and I are going to split up. I'm going to do Chelsea. She's going to do Williamsburg. Um, and then we're back at it again on Monday. Got all my breakfast for the day. Donovan's at Williamsburg already. We have two packages. This one is in order um, from the website. And then this one is this one's the giveaway on top. I have to wipe my lens, but no free hands. Oh yes, I'm about to run to the post office. After that, I'm gonna head to the city. Um, my goal for today is to edit as much of the vlog as I can. It's already short, so I'm hoping that I can finish it and it can go up before the weekend starts. Um, definitely before I go home because I have to make samples and do more candle stuff. So, and then we have a, so yeah, double booking tomorrow, double booking Sunday. And then we have Chelsea again, Monday through Friday, um, and, you know, whole thing. So, it's actually really nice out today. I wanna say I'm early. Oh no, I'm definitely not early, I'm late. But I got a free drink today. Because we've been kind of alternating, selling by ourselves, I forgot how useful it is having another person there. So we've been closing a lot more sales, I feel like, than when we're normally by ourselves. And that's because, like, I think we play off of each other very well. And I think that we kind of pick up each other's slack very well. So example is Donovan was talking to these two ladies in front. Someone pull up on the side. So he kind of gave his attention to the ladies on the side. And then that's when I pick up the people in the front. Make sure they still felt like they were seen and being talked to. And they ended up getting two candles. And then the person on the side that Donovan was talking to ended up getting a big candle. So it's just making sure that, you know, you're present. We just ran into this issue like two times, not having enough change. So I'm about to run to the bank to get change. It looks like I used the wrong pin on the car too many times, so I'm locked out. So I have to go back to Artisan Please to get my wallet because I didn't bring it with me so that I can go to the teller and get change. And then once I get my wallet, I have to walk all the way back to the Chase. Damn. So I'm back at Chase. I brought all the cards, but I didn't bring any ID. Chelsea is definitely not what it was supposed to be. Like, it's a good source of income, but the expenses that come to run it are a lot higher. Like, we don't go grocery shopping. We eat a lot of food here, transportation. So I think until we're, like, comfortably doing, like, six to 800 a day, we're only going to do it, like, twice, like, twice a month. I feel like doing it four times is really good, but I feel like we have to push ourselves to do it. And I think that mitigating risk at this point. Yeah, like I said, we're not going grocery shopping, so we're spending more. I can't check my finances. I can't edit the videos. A lot of those things help us to keep growing the business. But if we're making money or trying to make money, 
it kind of offsets whatever money we might be making from doing Chelsea. My lunch is $17 plus the water from before. Honestly, I might start putting how much we, I'm gonna start doing that in the vlogs. How much we spend every day. I'm gonna put it like a little check ding ding. I like that. Watching videos of us. I have been trying to get rid of your stuff, but voices in my head are telling me to stop. It's all I have left, all I have of you. Thought I was more than a body to hold, not, babe. You know, I wanted you, wanted no, us and to it's not be even something. If we were, we were doing like Chelsea numbers, but alright, that's cool. Like five hundred dollars a day on a low on a, on a low day, five hundred. A low day, two forty, two thirty on a low day. That's eight dollars more than it costs to come. Here. <laughs> Like because there's no measures, they're they're not even doing extra, like doing things to divert people into, into the store. Yeah, like I said, I think they can have a greeter. They can have some. Hey, we have women known. They can do something. Bruh, I think so. Fun. Okay, a couple things I was thinking. Do you remember when I said? that a lot of bad things started happening when we booked Chelsea the third time. I do have a feeling that they were desperate to fill spots. And that's why they were reaching out to everybody to try and get somebody to book a spot. So that's not a good sign for us. If people are not booking, then it's like, it's a problem. So you're also about to burn, not one of the candles that we're gonna keep, one of the other ones that didn't make the cut, but almost made the cut. You gotta always trim your wick first. I think we got a lot of, we got some good shots, I think, today on the new camera, so I'm excited. I gotta check if they got saved or not. Me and Melissa have been having some interesting conversations about the state of the market. Okay, I'm smelling. Mm, okay. So, this is how I like to light my candles. So, this. The tip, like, like just want to burn. Only, only the tip, part. guys. It's a nice, that's a nice fire. It's a little high for my liking, but it's a nice fire. So this is 150. The reason why I did it like this, there's like a peak here that's not level. So the closer I put it to here, they just start spilling over. So I put them on the ends. So I finished looking over the finances this morning and some changes definitely got to be made i'm about to make dust covers for the first time on the printer the printer is big enough that they better come out amazing so i'm already not a fan of this method i used the attach email and print method uh, it's okay i guess but it'll get more detail have you ever seen this happen before because i've seen this happen multiple times to the things that we print and i don't know what that is Wait and save. So pretty much it adds like, you tell them that you wait 10 minutes for your ride and you save like $10, it's the cheapest lift option, right? So I always do it and I never have to wait the 10 minutes. It always gets here before the time. All right, I'm on my way to work. Uh, leaving with about a minute or two to spare, so that's kind of good. The other day I set all the, well, I set the clocks that we see in the house a couple minutes forward so that I have to leave earlier. And something I noticed about myself, if I had an extra 30 minutes, I would be good. So that means that something about my habits leads me to be 30 minutes late all the time. Like, not late, but like, if I had those 30 minutes, I would be a lot earlier than I'm usually am. It's 10 minutes here, six minutes there, it's five minutes here, it's four minutes there. And next you know, it's 30 minutes. And I'm like, damn, let me get up real quick. And then next you know, you do that, when you say that, then you're still in bed for two or three more minutes. Now you have 34 minutes. So that's my train right there. So I gotta just walk down this block, get to this building right here, walk down that block, up the stairs, and I should be at the train. 
so I should get to the market at 10 30 so I'm gonna add it in the meantime a nice little jog I think I'll be fine Ooh. I ain't trying to slip and kill myself on this all right I got two minutes and technically the trail leaves at 10 06 today instead of 10 08 got me fucked up It's not here. I ran for no reason, but you know, I'm in shape now, so it's not this low light jog. I'm not dying, not out of breath too much. And I feel really good. It's gonna be cloudy and rainy today, so, worst case scenario, if there's not a lot of foot traffic, I'll just edit the, the vlog. But I really, really want to make 600 today. I feel like we kind of have to. It's so interesting because I get the same drink from Starbucks every time and depending on what Starbucks I go to or depending who's working on that shift, the drink be tasting different. So this drink is really chocolatey and full and bright. It's like amazing. The family that I met in Chelsea, like this week, is here today and they just bought mad candles. Like they each, they all got a candle. They all got a candle. Day started off really good. I don't know. It's odd. It's it. It's so many people. It's it's a lot of people. Um. So I think that we're trying to figure out what the best thing to do with B is. I think for Saturday in Chelsea, it should be me and Melissa here and her brother in Williamsburg. I think that's the best option. But then when I talked to her about it, she said that next week is going to be Smorgasbord, which is like a really big event in Brooklyn. So we're not sure which place will be busier. But this place is so busy. Like it's so 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 so. I'm leaving Williamsburg now. I'm going to be heading to Chelsea. I'm not checking at this point. Like, it's, it is so crazy in here. It's so crazy. This could have fake been like a $1,300 day. That's how crazy it was today, right? You want to smell a candle? I do. So, so what kind of scents are you normally into? Are you sweet, floral, musk? What we have. Like, I don't think you understand when I say like flying off the shelves. Like, we don't have enough candles. I know you heard this before, but this is different. This is Chelsea. So this is wild. Like I'm gonna show y'all. It was today just been a very wild day. Like I'm gonna show you how much candle we have left down here. This is normally filled up four levels of each candle. This is literally all we have left in here. That's it. And you you wanna see a real joke? Look at this. That's all we got left in here. That's it. And then whatever's on the table. So we got none, no big, no big or small over here. This is the only big ones we got left on this side where it's all four of them. And I guess even up here we don't have all the all four. I think room service, room service, do not disturb and people watching. Yeah, this is crazy. This has been a wild day. If Melissa was here, we would have easily cleared. We could have cleared like, like 15, 1600, to be honest with you. Like for fake. So if Chelsea could do this, if Chelsea was regular during the week, just, just decent. Plus this. Bruh. And then we got the new, with the, with the better margins of the new. Oh. Bruh, Melissa made like 150 uh, samples yesterday. We don't even have enough of those. We have to run out of that too. Like crazy. I brought like half and it's like we're almost done out of all the stuff. Bruh, I just had this crazy idea. I'm thinking what if we had it where you could use like uh, augmented reality to put the candle in your house. That's not crazy. Like you could show it on your thing and you would see the candle there. That's fire. That's not fire. So there's this saying. Bro, my eyelids are so shiny. There's a saying that Donovan kind of has, where it's like, Melissa, you're five five. You're five five. You're not. You're not six feet. I be thinking I'm six feet all the time. So, uh, they were like, we need candles. So I'm like, all right. So I'm gonna bring the candles. So I have a whole box of small candles, and I brought like, yeah, honestly, a box of big candles, extremely heavy. 
but I was able to carry them to the train station. I got on the train with them. I am now one, two blocks away from where Jermaine and Donovan are at. And I cannot carry them anymore. I have reached my limit, my capacity. I cannot carry both anymore. So Jermaine is gonna meet me here. That's my brother. He's gonna meet me here. And he's gonna help me carry one of these over because I, I literally cannot carry anymore. Yeah, I go home and do what? Making sandals? Samples? I'm making candles? I'm making candles? Bruh, you might need everything. But we can't, we don't have vessels to be making candles. So that's number one. We have some. Right. We don't have enough fragrance. Right. But we don't need, let me see. Oh, we have candles at home. We have mad small candles at home. I just realized that. We have three boxes of candles in the house. Yeah. I, I didn't. I, I don't know how much of what we took um, today depleted it. So because you took, I took twelve of each. Twice. That's twenty four. So it should be a half a box of candles of everything else in the house. Small. I'm not worried about small. We just need big. But we don't have. To, we only have like six vessels anyway. Yeah. Today was so crazy. I feel it was so good. I feel better about how the week went. That's how good it was. Like today was so good. I'm like, wow, the week wasn't that bad. I think today. It almost made a thousand. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Me and Jermaine only made a thousand. If you were there from the beginning, because he didn't get to like two o'clock. Yeah. So if you were there from when I was there to the end of the day, we would have easily done like $1,700. All the people that I couldn't talk to, you could have talked to. Everybody that I, I might not have addressed and you addressed, you could have got some sense. I'm talking $1,500, 1700 Like, it's crazy. That's and I was fake. I, I'm, I need, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to walk around. I'm on the phone a little bit. I'm like, all right. It's getting crazy. The elevator is at the center of the platform. All right, right now, Melissa is in the kitchen. We need some more big candles because I pretty much, as I saw earlier, have nothing left. Oh, got my alfalfa going on. In the morning, she's going to make samples because I also fake around the rolls. She doesn't have any big candles left over there. So she's only making six, though. That's all we have left. She can make it. Where is Rock at? Oh, I'm like, why? He look too high. You're right. You look that tall. <laughs> I'm like, what's he on top of? Like, if I see his face above the table, it's a problem. That's what happened. Yeah, that seat, that chair may be low. <laughs> he done stretched himself a little bit. Yeah, because that's crazy. I should not see your face, Rob. Not from up here. All right, so what I'm going to be doing for the day is I have to order more supplies and inventory for the week. Woo! And then I have to... Honestly, I got to check with the suppliers about the samples that we're ordering. I, I paid for the bag so far. I pay for the wag. I think I pay for the vessel for the samples. So that's what I'm doing. And then I also have to queue up the vlog for next, for my week. And I need my listener to send me those shorts. Listen, if, you, if, you, if you're not going to post every five days, every three days, Melissa, then you got to pull shorts in between so they don't kill you. That keeps them happy until the vlog come out. So honestly, I kind of like when we have double bookings, other than the money factor of it, but don't mind this camera, it's for nasty stuff. So I like the double bookings because I can get to use my favorite setup, where I have this and I have a laptop. So I feel like a, I feel like Wade from, whew, from Kim Possible. It's 12.46, I just finished placing orders, and I'm so mad because, first of all, I think I'm not drinking enough water because I still have this mark here. This should not be this long. Um, but, uh, trying to place the orders for the exact amount of stuff you need, we don't have the money. It's very annoying, and I accidentally bought it off the wrong card, so now that account's also negative. So I had to cancel that order and use another account, but they're probably gonna hold the money for three days or so, so that kind of sucks. Um, but then I was able to use one of the discounts that they have that from Avery that they sent us from before. So I technically saved money, but in the meantime, I have no money because they're gonna be holding that until they refund it back or until the, the charge falls off, however they wanna do it. I'm melting the tops, and Melissa's about to make some more samples. I'm way later than I wanted to be, and I'm heading to Williamsburg now. Just trying to leave the house at 9. I thought I was going to miss a train, but it seems like I'm going to catch it. I feel like I have enough time.
time to get there. It should be, the train should be there at 10 07. I didn't check, even check today. So I'm hoping it's 10 07. I'm gonna stop this video and check it and come back. Okay, the train comes at 10 09. So I have, I'm good. I'm really good. Great, actually. But I left the cash at home. So I don't have that. Ooh, it's so beautiful outside today. Oh, yes. The first time. I was taking a selfie with somebody that bought a candle. As soon as I go with her to the selfie, the wind, the door open, the wind blow the whole table, the sign fall off, the soda spill. I'm like, I just literally walked away from the table for two seconds. All day today, I've been trying to use the bathroom. Every time I go, it's someone in there. I probably went three or four or five times to check to the bathroom. I finally get to the bathroom to use the bathroom. I come back, the soda spill on the table. So no cash, soda spill. And I don't have the white paper to put inside the bags. And the bags weren't delivered yesterday like they were supposed to be. How many of these were controllable? Uh, for fake, they were all controllable. I was gonna throw out the soda, but I forgot when I went to the bathroom. We threw it out earlier. This morning I kept saying, bring the white paper, bring the white paper, bring the white paper, and then I forgot. And I forgot. Then I also kept saying, bag thing, I'm like, yeah, you know, Amazon will always say, yes, you have the order delivered, or order for it's order, it's, uh, the order's confirmed, but they'll be like, oh, that payment method doesn't work. But they'll tell you that like five hours later. So that happened, but I kind of knew it might happen, but I took a chance. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, as a workaround, I'm gonna rip the papers in half, because they're kind of big, and that way we get double what we already have here, right? And then a little trick we always do when we run out of bags, is we ask the customer if they want a bag or no bag. Most of the times, when they get a small one like this, they go, oh, so I don't need a bag. So that'll save me some some bags too. So running into the small business is problem solving every day. Just every single day. So I'm gonna show you how big the one paper is. Only for one bag. So I pulled off a trifecta. Sort of, trifecta kind of, sort of. There was a person on each side of the table, that's three sides. And I was able to sell each one of them a candle, but two of them were together, so they were playing on both sides, but I also was able to sell a third person who came to the side while I still had two on the other side. First time I think for a trifecta. Three. All right, it's 402, and I'm running on E right now. I might need some water. It's not going bad, but it's just, Non-stop working, no break, no lunch. Bro, doing this by yourself. Shout out to everybody that do craft fairs by themselves. This is crazy. One person trying to sell stuff is insane. Uh, I am trying to do editing on my computer for a second, take a break, and I'm falling asleep. My, I'm like this. Like that's me trying to figure out like I don't even know the worst part about it is you don't even know when you're sleeping you just wake up and your eyes will be like damn how long was I out that's how I feel right now like you don't want to get caught sleeping people are thinking crazy you're sitting in a chair you like this they're like who is that me that's me so right now I'm in the bathroom taking my breather like I said before another vlog just not seeing people just gives you a, t a br your brain just a time to to just because like i said whenever i see somebody my brain goes to sell them a candle but then it's like it's 40 people walking in front of you can't sell everybody a candle donovan is still there i'm bringing him some some candles i know i didn't vlog much it's kind of hard to vlog and also like you run the whole candle thing by yourself. And that's excuses. I just didn't walk. Sorry. So there's a little snag. Well, we're supposed to be moving spots. The person whose spot we're supposed to be moving into, the person whose spot they're moving into, are not moving today and they're moving tomorrow. So that messes us up and that messes that other person up because that other pe person doesn't want to move. So we'll see what happens. Give us all of the, the hardest things to work with. Um, so I think, depending on how big the table is, can't really get out, but, oh yeah, I can't really see it. Mm -hmm. so, uh so for 
April, I kind of want to chill. You want to what? I want to chill for April. I want to like use April, get everything in order, and prepare us for May and June. So we might only make like six, seven thousand for the month. It's gonna be smorgasbord, I think. We need to figure out how to do this employee situation. And then talking to the other guy from there, the uh, the, the glasses guy, he was saying that he be hiring people now. He like, that's the worst part of the business right now. Is he, Cause he be checking the camera, they be on their phone. He said the first day he hired somebody, she like, yeah, I can't work this day. I can't work that day. I can't work this day. And so he like, I gotta fire you. Cause you, I can't, I can't have that. And he was like, yeah, they just be on their phone most of the time. So. Last week, we sold 165 small candles, 36 full-size candles, and one wick trimmer. I feel like that's kind of low for, for large candles for a whole week and being uh, double booked twice. So for our travel size candle, we made $2,475 on our full-size candle in one week we made one thousand four hundred and thirteen dollars and that totals for the entire week three thousand eight hundred and ninety seven dollars with a total of a hundred and sixty sales for the week like that's not terrible that's still that's like that's like 16k a month but i feel like we should be doing like 7k 5 to 7k minimum at chelsea everybody who's on youtube in the bottom of this video you will see a discount code for everyone who's on youtube only the code will be bubble wrap you get 20 percent off any candle all the orders everything else because we all know the bubble wrap story so it's a little inside between me and you but with that being said subscribe to the youtube stuff we'll see you next week